Hello and welcome to another video demonstration of LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite. I am Amy Matland, an engineer at National Instruments. And in this video, we will walk through an example from the Software Defined Radio Community found at ni.com slash sdrcommunity. This example transmits and then receives a text message using a simple packet-based digital protocol. Data packet-based transmissions are used in all types of communication protocols. We will first show the data transfer using a quadrature phase shift keying modulation scheme, and we will later show how the same data is transferred using alternate modulation schemes. In this case, we are going to use two of the NIUSRP 2922s to transmit and receive data at a carrier frequency of 915 MHz. Beforehand, we have downloaded the packet-based digital link code from the SDR community page, and we have opened the project in LabVIEW Communications. Next, we have opened up USRP packet transmitter. On the front panel, you can see that message text has been entered as the road not taken by Robert Frost, or RF as we like to call him in the software defined radio group. Now under the configuration tab, you can see that there are a number of editable control fields. We are going to enter the number of guard bits as 30 so that we can be sure to mitigate channel and filter impairments. Next, we will enter the number of sync bits as 20 and an order of 31 to generate a pseudo noise sequence. The sequence is used at the receiver to identify the beginning of a packet. The number of message bits for each packet will be 128. The message text is turned into an array of ones and zeros, but only 128 of these will be placed into a data packet. Now under the modulation parameters section, we will start with a quadrature phase shift keying scheme. Set the alpha value to 0.5, the filter length to 6, and the transfer filter type to root raised cosine. Next, the IP address of my USRP device is 192.168.10.2. You can find the device names of your radios by going to the NIUSRP configuration utility. We will go ahead and set our key rate to 400 kilosamples per second, the transmit carrier frequency to 915 MHz, and we will set the gain to 0 dB. Our antenna name is TX1. If we go ahead and run the packet transmitter program, we will see a populated IQ graph which shows off our QPSK modulation scheme. Now, if we stop the transmitter and change the modulation scheme to 8PSK, for example, and run the program again, we can see the change in the IQ graph. For this demo, I want to go ahead and stick with the QPSK modulation scheme. Now we will switch to the USRP packet receiver. It is important here to make sure that the receiver configuration is matched to, to the transmitter configuration. The device name will be different. We can again leave the gain at 0 dB since our transmitter is located next to our receiver. Now we will go ahead and run our transmitter program, and then we will run the receiver program. As you can see, the sync was found. 46 packets were received, and our text message submitted to our receiver using the QPSK modulation scheme. Well, that concludes our demonstration of packet-based digital link using the NIUSRP platform and LabVIEW Communication System Design Suite. The code for this example and many others is found on ni.com slash sdrcommunity. Come join the conversation and learn more about how NI can help you discover software-defined radio.